Uh, we yeah. have Councillor Hill on Zoom. Other than that, I think we are either um, an apology or all in the room. I'll open with Kia. Kia to my Tamana Latanga. Kia to my Tarangi Māori. Kia to my Takaha. Me te Aroha. Mo Tene Kau Papa. Huie. Bye Kia. Uh, we have apologies from Deputy Mayor Rohan O'Neill Stevens. Someone like to move the apologies. Move Councillor Courtney, seconded um, Mayor Smith. All those in favour, please say aye. Against, carried. Um, do we have any declarations of interest in relation to items on today's agenda? If not, um, let's move on to the confirmation of minutes from the 22nd of May. Someone prepared to move. So, uh, move Mayor Smith, seconded uh, Councillor Sanson. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Uh, we just need a mover and seconder, so we've got a late item, which is an expression of support for Nelson Airport Limited to be um, considered later in the meeting. So um, we have a, a resolution that we will put up and when we get to the item. So someone just move, we accept. So move Councillor okay. Sanson. Uh, second in council mailing. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Yeah, it's carried. We don't have anyone in the public forum. So the first item we have is Tasman Base Heritage Trust trustee remuneration, and the report is in the name of Martin Croft. So Martin, welcome. I'll hand over to you um, to present your report. Anything you wish to add to what we've received in writing? Um, or available for questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, kia ora, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, ko Martin Croft, tōku um, I am the Strategic Advisor um, for Community Service Area in Nelson City Council. Uh, and in that role, I, am, I have relations with um, the museum and the TBHT. Uh, this report talks to uh, an increase of 3.5% in the trustees' remuneration pool. Um, there are a few things to note that I'd like to add to the report. Um, the first is a signal from the board that they will not be taking an increase this year, and that's due to the financial pressure um, that's on the organisation and staff currently. Um, the second uh, point to note is the fact that earlier in this year, we increased the number of trustees from six to seven, the maximum number of trustees um, on the board. That, that can be on the board, and that was at the request of uh, the Tasman um, Bay's Heritage Trust um, board. Um, and the third thing to note, um, and it's just for your reference, um, one of those trustees that was appointed, um, Stephen Broad Paul, um, is now the, the chair of the trust, and that uh, will be officially appointed, uh, confirmed in October at the AGM. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks, Martin. Are there any questions, Councillor Sanson? I'm sorry, Mayor Tim through the chair. Um, kia ora, Martin. Thanks so much for that. So um, thanks for those updates and the report. If the trustees are not wanting to take any increase in remuneration, um, uh, has your recommendation changed? Are you suggesting, you know, would it be your um, the officer recommendation that we don't increase the remuneration pool by the CPI adjustment or, yeah? Um, through the chair, um, no, my rec recommendation hasn't changed. So, so if we approve this um, the increase, the... Um, they would just choose not to take it, and that, but still, they would be able to take it in future if they wanted to. They could increase it the following year. Um, through the chair, that, that's correct. Yeah, I feel it's important that we give them the opportunity to take um, yeah. what's being offered. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. Happy to on that, are you happy to move the resolution on the basis of the answer you received? So, uh, move, Councillor Sanson. Are there any further questions, or is someone prepared to second the resolution? Seconded, Councillor Dowler. Mr. Mayor, yeah. just one question. I'm very supportive. It's very reasonable. 3.5% is consistent with what we took on the grant. There is an issue with respect to other similar organisations. Uh, are 
There are other organisations that we jointly operate with Nelson Tasman uh, that as a consequence of setting the 3.5 for them that we're likely to apply a similar approach, Martin. Uh, correct, we'll, we'll off the same recommendation. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Resolution has been moved and seconded. All in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against? Carried. If I descend into a coughing fit, forgive me, I've got this horrible tickly throat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, next item is the late item. So, um, expression of support, Nelson Airport Limited. So, the resolution is contained up there. I'll come across to Mayor Smith just to speak to it briefly, um, and then we'll look for a mover and seconder. The Chief Executive of uh, Nelson Airport Limited corresponded with myself and Mayor King last week, uh, drawing our attention to this opportunity, uh, which I think is a fantastic uh, opportunity for the region. Um, effectively, Air New Zealand, uh, at the beginning of August, asked for an expression of interest from regions to, for both routes and a host home uh, for the next generation of aircraft. Uh, they have put out to aircraft manufacturers around the world um, a expression of interest for the supply of um, uh, uh, more sustainable low emission aircraft. There is some speculation as to whether they will be electric, whether they will be hybrid or whether they are hydrogen. But their program is to introduce uh, such aircraft in New Zealand on a trial basis in 2026, beginning with freight. Now, my view is that uh, Nelson Airport is one of our fantastic assets in the region. Uh, it is New Zealand's fourth busiest airport by flight number. The advantages, I think, um, that we offer, uh, as I've indicated in the draft resolution, firstly, is that Nelson has a frequency of short-range flights greater than any other in the country, particularly that Nelson to Wellington service that started with Straits Air all the way back in the 1930s is one of the most frequent short flights at 120 kilometres and would be an ideal route uh, for the trial of such new aircraft. Uh, but we've also got the route to Christchurch uh, and to Auckland at 250k and 500k because it's likely that any aircraft trials are going to want to move uh, from a short range flight and then moving to longer flights. You'd all be aware of the significant investment that Air New Zealand made in 2010 with the new hangar facility uh, that cost uh, $12 million uh, that was opened in 2010. I was one of those that was very disappointed in the decision that led to the removal of the regional maintenance facility from Nelson to Christchurch. But as a consequence, I believe there is capacity in that hangar facility uh, to be better utilised as a consequence of being a home for the next generation of aircraft. Thirdly, uh, my view is that Nelson has a very significant climate advantage uh, in the development of new generation aircraft. My parochial, and I'm happy to argue with the Mayor of Tasman, as to whether it's Nelson or Richmond that holds the, the, the uh, official title as the sunshine capital of New Zealand. But since 2000, uh, Nelson uh, has won that award 12 times. Whakatane has only done so four, 12, as compared with four for Whakatane uh, since 2000. Uh, and actually, uh, one of the things we underestimate about Nelson's climate uh, is that we have one of the lowest average wind speeds. That's why nobody's building wind turbines in our region. It is a lack of a windy place. But I think from a climate advantage, uh, I'm very proud of uh, Nelson's long-term leadership around sustainability. For instance, the very first environment centre in New Zealand was established in 1976 in Nelson. I think if you look at the campaigns for establishing either the national parks in Tasman, uh, whether it be Abel Tasman, uh, whether it be Nelson Lakes, whether it be Kaharangi, whether it be Project Jansoon, which is the biggest private sector partnership for a biodiversity project, actually the partnership with Air New Zealand on reintroducing Takahi uh, into the Kaharangi National Park or the Brook Sanctuary, actually there's a strong leadership around environmental issues. I also note the Maruia Society that drove the whole campaign for stopping native logging came out of Nelson. And then I look at the more recent leadership 
with our e-bus service. I do think there's a not complete synergy, but there is some similarity in terms of the challenges for our staff in introducing an electric bus service is not going to be indifferent to some of the challenges that Air New Zealand and the airport will face uh, around um, electric or other lower emission um, aircraft. And of course, Nelson's very proud that we have the highest level of uptake uh, of EVs. And in the last sort of bow uh, in uh, our armour around being a good place uh, to base these aircraft is that NMIT uh, has a very strong aviation engineering program uh, and Motawaka, or sorry, I should say Nelson Aviation College, based in Motawaka, is one of New Zealand's largest air training facilities. The purpose of the resolution is firstly to strongly endorse the work that Mark Thompson and Nelson Airport Limited is doing in putting in an expression of interest around this opportunity. Mark has invited our two mayors uh, to uh, provide uh, letters of support. I believe it would be good for this joint Chui Helders meeting to take the opportunity to further endorse this initiative. I think it's one of the most exciting opportunities for Nelson to be at the cutting edge of the next year of aviation uh, in a way that I have not seen in some time. And that is the basis for me wanting to move the resolution. Uh, I do accept it as relatively late notice. Uh, I received the letter from the airport company last Thursday. The uh, expressions of interest closes before our next shareholders meeting. Um, and I view it as reasonably non-controversial uh, and worthwhile bringing forward to this joint shareholders meeting. Okay, thank you, Mayor Smith. Uh, other comments or a seconder? Um, Councillor Courtney and then Cap. Do you wish to add anything to your seconding? What can you add to what the Mayor has just said? Excellent. Pretty pretty expensive. Expensive. No, 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 hang on. <laughs> <laughs> a very important point that I've been following it since earlier in the month and uh, is the fact that initially it's going to be a cargo only service. Uh, from 2026 but you know for nelson that is significant and that gives us uh, an edge i think over other um expressions of interest because i do remember our chief executive for the airport limited um saying to us that we can't get uh via in new zealand sufficient we don't take we can't get full capacity of cargo on air new zealand planes into nelson now, that's not good. So this couldn't come soon enough as far as I'm concerned because uh, if the emphasis initially is going to be on cargo, well, that fits so well with us. It's a good fit for Nelson. Very supportive. Thank you, Councillor Courtney. Councillor Sanson. Um, thanks, Mayor Nick, through the chair. Yeah, I'm speaking in support of this. Um, globally, aviation emissions contribute around... 2.83% of global emissions. Um, and if global aviation was a country, it would be in the top 10 carbon emissions in the world. New Zealand, however, for a small country, has an outsized um, contribution. Um, our Currently, we're sitting at around 12% of our transport emissions are from aviation, um, far higher than Canada, which is much larger. So our per capita contribution is far higher, and I think that anything that we can do to um, directly tackle this is um, important. So very supportive of us looking at becoming a hub for innovation. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor Sanson. Any further comments? It's been moved and seconded. Resolution is contained up there. Everyone clear what it involves? I'll put the resolution. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against, carried. Right now, I'll move that we go into committee um, so on the basis and also just to clarify that um, Mark Thompson, Simon Orr, Hugh Morrison, uh, Daryl Weiner, Sue Sheldon uh, remain in the meeting uh, because of their knowledge of the matter being discussed. So I'll move seconded, Mayor Smith. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against.
carried.